guys, today I'm here with Trito, as you can see. Um, I don't know how long he's going to stay, um, because it's near his dinner time today, and um, he's a little anxious and stuff, but hopefully he can stay. Um, today we're going to be talking about Bearded Dragon Mist. Um, this is about mist, obviously. Before I get started, I want to put a little disclaimer. These are mainly my opinion, so please don't get offended. offended. I'm sorry if you do. Like I said, these are my opinion. Um, if you want to put your opinion down in the comments, you can. Just please be respectful. Um, I'll greatly take the feedback. Just like I said, be respectful. Um, but... And if you guys... So the first one is... Um, or when you get your beard dragon, should you handle it? Or like, should you wait two weeks or a month? Um... I personally handled Dorito, um, it's a 30 minute drive to back to our house after I got him, I started handling him, he loved it, um, mainly my opinion on this is either way, some people will say wait two weeks to three weeks, some people say jump in, do it, here's my opinion, um, uh, I say for Dorito, we got him a reptile expo, great health, um, didn't seem skittish, didn't think that, so I personally took it on my, um, self uh like opinion and stuff to like I could handle him because he he didn't seem skittish he looked fine and stuff like that but on the other hand if they're skittish or if they came from like a rescue and they're like hurt or something and like they came from a bad home I would say maybe wait like two days or until they're comfortable like if they're not comfortable for two weeks and they were in a poor situation like I understand that you might want to wait uh, but mainly, overall, 99% Bearded Dragons, I would say you could just jump right in and handle them. Um, but, yeah. The next one is, um, Bearded Dragons can be housed together. Um, I have a video on this about housing Bearded Dragons and stuff, so I will link that down below. But I personally say no, um, especially if you do male and male, um, because they can be very territorial. That is how they get injured, hurt, all of the above, um, skinny because of food issues, um, just get two cages really. It solves many problems down the long haul, um, all, then, but what if you're breeding? Um, I would say only put them together. If you are strictly breeding and only during breeding seasons. Don't have them together during the off season. Um, they're not going to breed, so there's no point. I mean, they might, but why risk it? Um, you can put them to where they're breeding season, where they're guaranteed to breed. I mean, obviously not guaranteed, but there's a way higher chance. Um, but just take in precautions. Also, if you are breeding, please, please do your research. That's a whole nother topic. Um, Breeding is very hard, I mean, obviously not as hard as other reptiles, um, but if you don't know what you're doing, obviously it's going to be a hassle. Um, ow, you can't get off my necklace, buddy. Um, okay, the next one is, and we're doing 10 miss today, and I have one that I can do, so if you want, um, I can do a part two, just comment down below. Next one is spring name is good for them. Um, so I'm a, spraying means like ugh, he's not really confident. I'll put you down as soon as I do this, buddy. Okay, go up there. Um, spraying them is misting them with a spray bottle just on their back and their head because people apparently assume that you can that beard dragons can absorb water through their skin. Um, that is totally false. Um, I see pet stores do this all the time. You know, the only way they can get water is through their butt and their mouth. So yeah, if you spray water at their mouth and they lick it, sure, that is totally fine. But most people, when they say they are spraying, um, that just means they're just missing their skin, not actually putting the water. Best two solutions to that is just give them a bath two to three times a week or give them water through a syringe. Um, and that just solves the whole situation all together. Um, the next one is they. Um, this one's basically the same thing, but 
they can absorb water through their skin. Um, no, they can only, like I said, only absorb it through their mouth and their butt. Um, it's really simple. I don't know why people don't know that. Um, I'm assuming because they don't do their research, but I don't know. The next myth is they poop once a week. Um, well, this obviously can be true, um, but 90% of the time it's not going to be. Um, Drudo poops about every other day, but when he was a baby he pooped every day. Um, but he now has a bigger stomach, so he only poops about every other day or every two days. Um, but when he was a baby, he definitely pooped either once or twice a day. Um, he sometimes even pooped three times a day. Um, but they still, they definitely do not poop once a week. Um, I'm sure there is bearded dragons out there that do because all bearded dragons have a different personality, but... For the majority, no. They do not poop once a week. Um, you need to take them to the vet. You, oh wait, sorry. Sorry about that. You don't need to take them to the vet. That is false. Um, you do need to take them to the vet. Um, first of all, bear dragons can, especially if you don't do your research, have very, very tremendous and tons of health things. They have tons of things where they can get sick. Um, they have MP a metabolic bone disease. They have um, lack of UVB, which is basically the same thing as that. They have high dehydration. They have um, tons of other things. Wait, no. Just come over here so you can see. Um, they have tons of things. Um, they have, I don't know, I'm trying to think. What, do, what else can you have? You have a respiratory infection. Many things. Um, most people just give, and you need, they can have worms and stuff. Most people just give their bearded dragons, um, a checkup once a year, usually around winter when it's brumation, so they can get check up before they do brumation. Um, so yeah, they need to go at least once a year, and if not, they will go more than once. The next one is, they are beginner pets. Now, I personally cannot testify this. Because this is the first reptile I've ever had. But on the other hand, if you're going to give a child, like I'm 13, almost 14. In November, I'm going to be 14. Um, so I personally am very mature for my age. People think that I'm very like older and mature. Um, I personally did up to eight months of research on Dorito alone. Um, and some people only do a day or little to none, like zero. Um, they'll go to pet stores that are not good for bearded dragons because they don't take care of them. They'll give them a full grown adult 20 gallon. They'll put sand on them. So I personally, I know I can't really say this because he's my first reptile, um, but overall for little kids, um, um, unless you're willing to invest in maybe eight, eight months of research, I would say no. Um, um, I would say they're not reptile beginner pets. I would say maybe go for a leopard gecko or um, a crested gecko, something like that. Um, but I know I really can't testify to this one, so don't be like screaming at me because he's my first beta dragon. But... Um, I would say no overall. Next one is they need to be on a table. So I miss that really just mean like they're on the table and then they're caged, not on the floor. So um, I personally have Dorito on a just spool, just one of those like tables you put outside at like a cookout or something like one of those white tables at like a barbecue or something. And they're just height. Now I know you can put them on the floor. Um, it's not going to harm them, they're not like, it's not going to affect them anyway. I personally just have them on thing because my room didn't really have any storage, so that way I can have them high and then storage stuff under. So if you have like a small room, well my room's not that small, but like no room for storage because my closet's small but my room's not, um, then I would say go with a table because that helped tremendously in storage. But if you have enough room for storage, um, then yeah, sitting them on the floor ain't going to harm them. Um, 
The next two and the final two are their bird the their beards only turn black if they are angry. So let me show you their beards real quick. Um if Drita will he's just sitting on my bed. So I'm not gonna this is not harming him at all. Um can you get off my hair for two seconds? This is their beards right here. Um they go out like this and they'll puff puff them out and they'll turn black. Um, I did not harm them at all. Um, doing that um, because they are actually meant to expand. Um, don't obviously yank on it though. Um, but yeah, they'll turn the, their beards black if they're angry. But that's not the only reason why they can do this if they're sick. Um, Dorito does this sometimes. He doesn't do it if they're, he's angry most of the time. He he is a male, so particularly males will um, do this deer breeding season. So a couple months back, I mean like. June and July, he was going crazy. He was bobbing his head. He literally, I, I saw him like bobbing his head and just doing random blackbeards in the cage, um, outside of his cage. He would do like, it was crazy, um, but yeah, you were just a crazy boy, weren't you? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go put you back on. You can go. Um, but yeah, they don't just get blackbeards they can have because they're sick like I said um the last and final one is you can leave insects in the tank overnight um this is one, another very controversial one because I know tons of people that do this um I've seen tons of videos on YouTube that people do this so this is one's going to be more towards my opinion um I personally say no um I personally just Get a little cup, like an insect feeder cup. Give it to them and then watch them eat it and then take them out. Um, especially if you are doing crickets. Please do not do this at all. Crickets can bite um, and so like that. And also if they die in the cage, you do not want your beard dragon eating dead insects. Obviously one little dead insect ain't going to hurt them, but you still just don't. It's not a good idea because um, it doesn't have that nutritional value anymore because it died um, but they can help like say they get stuck under something and then they die they can also spread bacteria and get fleas or not fleas flies um, gnats and stuff like that and that's just not good for your rear dragon so just don't leave them in overnight um, if you want to free roam them um, maybe watch where they're going in the tank, or you can take them out and put them in a bucket. I know when I had little nips for doobie roaches, and he was just a little baby, I had a little bucket, and he could, like, climb around in it and get them. Um, but now I just put them in a tub and eat some, um, because they're gigantic. Um, but that's really it for this video. Come here, buddy. I know you want to chill. Um, but... That's really it for this miss video. These were 10 miss for bearded dragons. Um, you want, I have tons more. Um, if you want um, another video on this myths for bearded dragons, then I can totally do that. I will just comment down below. My Instagram is linked down below and any videos I mentioned in this video. Um, but um, if you want to like, you can. Um, you want to say bye to video? Say bye, buddy. Bye.